already. So I made a set of drawers. Ta-da! Um, they're almost done. So I just need a button and buttonhole in the back. So there they are. They look kind of funny when I lay them flat. Of course, they do go like this all on her person. So I'll show you some of the details. They are split. They have a back opening. There is uh, a facing here. So I've got the edge rolled just to the inside a little bit there. And tiny little stitches so you can't see anything here or barely on the front. I have a cluster of five tucks here. I did the tucks and hemmed it before I cut the leg out, actually. Um, so that means the tucks go directly into the seam. Uh, this is the trim that I knit by myself. Found an old pattern uh, online, an old Victorian knitting pattern. So there it is. It's been starched. It's been blocked. So you can actually see the pattern. I did have to join the side. Uh, it was too wide for my fabric. So I've got a little tiny, probably four millimeter French seam going on there. That's all the tucks. You can see the seam there. Um, I didn't want to line the yoke with more flannel. I don't want it to be too thick. So here's the back. I actually used a piece of uh, just muslin or batiste. Batiste actually. So that's there. It's been rolled just slightly so you can't see the lining on the front side. And then I whipped it shut here. So that is such a smooth seam. It's actually really cool. And then little, little tiny stitches the whole way along here. I put one stitch for every uh, stitch on the actual machine stitching holding the gathering down to the yoke. So there we go. I'm pretty happy. Oh, and they have a, did I show you this? A little flat felt seam up there. So I just gotta put some buttons here. Maybe it's on that side, I don't know. And buttonholes, and I actually finished something. Way to go.